Section 13.3 continued. Uh, take note on page 846 is the length of the intercepted arc. For a circle of radius r and a central angle of measure theta in radians, the length s of the intercepted arc is r times theta. So use the circle to determine the length s to the nearest tenth. So to find our arc length, we're going to take our radius times our theta measure. I'm going to do a little simplifying here. We're going to get 5 pi over 2, um, which isn't super helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and take 5 pi divided by 2, and that's approximately 7.85. Okay, 7.85, and here it's inches because we had inches. Okay, fairly straightforward. Um, radius times theta, as long as it's in radians. We just have to remember it's got to be in radians. So, what is the length B to the nearest tenth? Okay, so if we look here, uh, this has to be a central angle, which means the all three of these uh, cords are actually radiuses, radii, radii. Um, they're all three inches, is the moral of the story. So um, we take our radius times our theta measure. Our radius is three times two pi over three. And our arc length is two pi, which is approximately 6.2 eight inches here. And I know some of you are probably thinking, but two pi is a full circle. This isn't a full circle, it's just part of one. Um, and that's right, two pi is a full circle when we're talking about um, like our unit circle with a radius of one. But when our radius changes, remember that our um, radian measure is our um, based off our radius. So right now, um, it's not a full circle because our radius is three instead of it being just a radius of one, like in a unit circle. So don't get confused on that. Example four is using radian measure to solve problems. A weather satellite in a circular orbit around Earth, as shown on page 847 in your book, completes one orbit every two hours. How far does the satellite travel in one hour? Okay, so we wanna know how far it travels, how far. So we wanna know its distance around this Earth. Okay, uh, it goes the full way every two hours. So two is the whole, and we have one hour, which means it goes a half revolution. Okay, it goes around half. So, um, to find our theta value of that, we take half times a full circle, remember it's 2 pi. So it's just pi radians. Okay, it's like if we have here, this whole circle is 2 hours we only want the one hour, and we know that a half circle is pi radians. So, arc length is our radius, and if we look in the picture, guys, from the center of the Earth to the edge of the Earth is about 6,400 kilometers, and the satellite is an additional 2,600 kilometers. So, our total radius means we have to add these two up. We want to go that whole distance. So 2,600 plus 6,400, okay? So our total distance is 9,000 kilometers is our radius. And we said that our radian measure is pi. So our arc length or the distance that we're gonna travel is 9,000 times pi, which is about 28,274 and a third kilometers.
big thing here, make sure we have the whole radius and we use what we know about a circle. If it takes two hours to go the whole way, we only want one hour, that's half. So we take half of the circle to get our pi radians. Now, suppose the satellite orbited 36,000 or 3,600 kilometers above Earth's surface and completed an orbit every four hours. Okay, so here's the Earth. The Earth didn't change, so it still has the same radius of 6,400 kilometers. But now, the orbit of the satellite is an additional 3,600 kilometers. Okay, um, so to find our total radius, we take the radius of the Earth and the radius of the satellite. So we take um, 6,400 plus 3,600, and our radius is going to be 10,000 kilometers. Now, we're taking this orbit is four hours. So I'm going to split it into four pieces. One, two, three, four. That whole distance around in four hours. So I split it into four equal pieces because we only want one. So we just want this distance right here. And that, okay, if this is a full pi, this is a pi over two, it's half of a pi. The other thing we could do is we could take one fourth times our full circle of two pi and get pi over two. So either way, that's our theta value. 90 degrees is pi over two. Okay, arc length is our radius times our theta value. 5,000 pi, which is approximately uh, 15,707.96 kilometers, or 15,708 kilometers. That's how far the satellite um, that's 3,600 kilometers above Earth's surface uh, would travel in one hour if it completes an orbit around Earth every four hours. Recap. Um, an angle with a full circle rotation measures two pi radians. An angle with a semicircle rotation measures pi radians. Half circle. To convert degrees to radians, we multiply by pi radians over 180. To convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. And again, it uh, depends on what we have. If we have radians, radians go to the bottom and we're looking for degrees. If we have degrees, degrees go on the bottom because we're looking for radians. For a circle of radius r and a central angle of measure theta in radians, the length of the intercepted arc is s equals r theta. So um, we have to convert to radians if it's given in degrees degrees or rotations like we just talked about. And here is your assignment for 13.3.